Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about water, something we all need to survive, yet something we often take for granted. We might complain about water bills or the taste of tap water or how much water we have to drink every day, but there are billions of people around the world who don't have access to clean water. Here in India, we've have been blessed with ancient systems that brought water to our fields and homes thousands of years ago. Today, we're going to explore the genius of one such ancient Indian innovation, the lost irrigation system of the Maldives. We'll also talk about how this innovation was born and what we can learn from it. So let's start. You may be wondering what the Maldives has to do with... India? The Maldives is a country located in South Asia, near India's southernmost state of Kerala. It comprises a group of islands in the Indian Ocean and is known for its beautiful beaches and amazing natural beauty. In the 5th century, Buddhist monk and traveler Zhuangzong visited the Maldives and wrote about it in his book, The Journey to the West. He described the Maldives as a prosperous land with an efficient irrigation system that provided water for agriculture and drinking. The Maldivian people at that time had harnessed the power of the monsoon winds to channel water from the ocean into their fields. This innovative irrigation system allowed them to grow crops on a large scale, which contributed to their prosperity. Unfortunately, the rest of the world didn't know about this amazing feat until centuries later when Alexander the Great conquered the Maldives in the 4th century BC. Even then, knowledge of the irrigation system remained limited until European colonizers rediscovered it during the 16th century. However, over the centuries, the irrigation system fell into disrepair, leading to soil erosion and salinization, which made it difficult to grow crops. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in reviving the traditional irrigation system as a sustainable and eco-friendly way to provide water for agriculture in the Maldives. By understanding the ingenious methods used by the ancient Maldivians to harness monsoon winds and distribute water throughout their islands, we can learn how to adapt these techniques to modern challenges such as climate change and rising sea levels. So what was the irrigation system of the Maldives like? What made it so unique? Let's delve deeper into the history and engineering behind this incredible innovation. The ancient irrigation system of the Maldives was a marvel of engineering that utilized the power of monsoon winds to channel fresh water from the ocean into the canals and fields. The system consisted of a series of connected waterways and reservoirs that were strategically designed to capture and distribute water throughout the islands. Here's how it worked. During the monsoon season, heavy rains and strong winds lashed the Maldivian islands. The winds were strong enough to pump seawater through a system of pipes and channels and store it in large artificial ponds called ki These kinzos acted as rainwater harvesting systems, collecting and storing fresh water from the ocean for use during the dry season. The system started with a series of weirs or low-lying structures built across the narrow channels that connected the ocean to the main island. These weirs acted as gateways, allowing seawater to flow into the canals but preventing larger debris from entering. As the monsoon winds blew across the Maldives, they forced the seawater through these weirs and into the canals. The water flowed through a network of interconnected channels and ditches that were carefully designed to maximize water flow and minimize evaporation. Along the way, the water was filtered through layers of sand and coral, removing any impurities and making it safe for drinking and irrigation. Once the water reached the main island, it was directed into large storage ponds called Kinzo, which were constructed using a combination of natural and man-made materials such as coral rubble, stone, and soil. These Kanzos were strategically located on higher ground to take advantage of gravity and ensure that water flowed naturally to lower areas. The Kanzos were large enough to hold vast quantities of water, which could then be distributed to fields and homes during the dry season when rainfall was scarce. From the Kenzos, water was channeled to the fields through a network of smaller canals and ditches. The distribution system was designed to ensure that all areas of the island received adequate water for agriculture. Even during the driest months, farmers could then use the stored water to irrigate their crops, ensuring that they could grow a variety of crops year. But the brilliance of the Maldivian irrigation system didn't end there. The ancient engineers who designed the system also incorporated several innovative features to enhance its efficiency and sustainability. 
For example, they used a series of check dams, small structures that were built across the channels to regulate water flow and prevent erosion. They also used a technique called percolation, which involved digging holes or trenches around the storage ponds to allow water to gradually seep into the ground and replenish underground aqua. This helped to ensure that the water was evenly distributed throughout the island and prevented uh, Nakanzos from overflowing during heavy rains. Furthermore, the Maldivian irrigation system was integrated with the natural landscape, taking advantage of the unique geographies of the islands. For instance, they built storage ponds on higher ground, allowing water to flow downhill to lower areas where crops were grown. They also used the natural filtration process of the sand and coral to purify the water, reducing the need for additional treatment. It's important to note that the ancient irrigation system wasn't just a technical marvel. It was also a testament to the ingenuity and adaptability of the Maldivian people. They were able to harness the power of nature to meet their needs and sustain their way of life in a challenging environment, despite the challenges posed by the ocean. The Maldives managed to thrive due to their ability to innovate and adapt, making the most of the resources available to them. But like many other ancient innovations, the irrigation system eventually fell into disrepair. Over the centuries, silting, Evaporation and changing land use patterns caused the canals and storage ponds to become clogged or dry up. Natural disasters such as cyclones and tsunamis also took a toll on the system, damaging the infrastructure and disrupting the delicate balance of the ecosystem. Additionally, the introduction of new technologies and changing agricultural practices led to the abandonment of traditional irrigation methods. As the Maldives transitioned to more modern forms of agriculture and water management, the ancient irrigation system became less relevant and eventually fell into disuse. The decline of the irrigation system had far-reaching consequences for the Maldives. Soil erosion and salination became widespread, making it difficult to grow crops and sustain the local population. The decline in agriculture led to economic hardship and social disruption, as well as a loss of cultural heritage and traditional knowledge. However, in recent years, there has been a growing interest in reviving the traditional irrigation system as a sustainable and eco-friendly way to provide water for agriculture in the Maldives by studying the ancient methods used by the Maldivians to harness monsoon winds and distribute water throughout their islands. Experts are learning how to adapt these techniques to modern challenges such as climate change and rising sea levels. This involves not only restoring the old irrigation system, but also incorporating new technologies and best practices to improve its efficiency and resilience. For example, by using modern tools to map the canals and storage ponds, Experts can identify areas that need to be repaired or expanded. They were also exploring ways to integrate the traditional irrigation system with modern water management practices such as rainwater harvesting and desalination. Reviving the traditional irrigation system is not only a practical solution to the water challenges facing the Maldives today, but it is also a way to honor the legacy of the Maldivian people and their ancestors who developed such an innovative and sustainable way of life. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating irrigation system of the Maldives. If you want to know more about India's ancient innovations, stay tuned for more updates. Thank you for watching.